Okay, class. Now that we went over the Native Americans, it's time to move on to math. Everyone get out your math books. We will be doing a lesson for 45 minutes before we go to gym. Followed by lunch. Man. Alpha Pig. Wonder Red. And Princess Presto. Mr. Joe is such a stupid teacher. He knows nothing about any kind of subject. Excuse me? Super Y. I don't want to speak to the other super readers like that. You are here to learn. Get out your math book. Alpha Pig. Wonder Red. Princess Presto. And you too. No way Jose. You're not the right person to be teacher. If we have Kalu here, we would have him attack you and he would become the teacher. Seriously. I don't want to hear another word from any of you. Get out your math books right now. Don't say another word or it's the office. Another word. That's it. Ms. Clementine's office. Now. <laughs> it's just not fair. Mr. Joe always gets what he wants and we don't. Yeah. I know. Mr. Joe is a freaking piece of shit. Excuse me. I heard that. To the office right now. Whatever. There. There it is again. You guys have any idea what we should do? Any idea at all? Super Y. Alpha Pig. And Wonder Red. I have just the idea. Let's get Mr. Joe fired. What do you think? Awesome idea, Princess Presto. I know exactly how we'll get him fired early in the morning. Let's make a clone of Mr. Joe and have him destroy the little Einstein's locker that they got for their birthday. All right. I have the remote to control Mr. Joe from our house. Let the show begin. Ha 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 ha. I am going to vandalize this locker. Regardless of special it is to the little Einsteins. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 Take that you stupid baby brats. You deserve it for abusing the super readers so many times. I'm out of here. Our locker. It's destroyed. Somebody destroyed our locker. No. Our locker is destroyed. Wah Annie. Stop crying. We'll figure out who did this. Hey. What's going on here? What happened to your locker? Well folks. Somebody destroyed our locker. But we don't know who did this. What should we do? Wait a minute. This is our special locker. Just like Fox and Nick. And the sign said we can easily report it. Let's report it. Yeah. Let's report it. See you later Fox and Nick and friends. Um. Fox. Should we go follow them? Maybe not. Let's just head to class. Oh. Well hello there Leo. June. Annie. And Quincy. Is there a problem? Miss Clementine. Our locker that we got for our birthday has been vandalized. Do you mind checking the security cameras to see how this all happened? Oh my goodness. Yes. Let me see who destroyed your locker. I am going to vandalize this locker. Regardless of special it is to the little Einsteins. Ha 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 Oh my god. You guys were right. Mr. Joe destroyed your locker. Don't worry. I'm going to have a meeting with him. He will be fired. You four get to class and I will deal with Mr. Joe. Attention. 
I need Mr. Joe in my office. Repeat. I need Mr. Joe in my office. Thank you. Okay, Ms. Clementine. What's this all about? According to Leo from the Little Einsteins, he said that you vandalized their special locker that they got for their birthday. And I saw you doing on the security camera. Is this true? What? No. This is a mistake. This isn't what it looks like. Tiff, what's going on in there? Shh. Actually, it is what it sounds like you clearly vandalized their locker. I'm sorry. But I wish you the best of your future endeavors. You are fired. What? Collect your things and leave please. Wa 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 Mr. Joe, what's the matter? I got fired for nothing. Oh man, that's terrible. But it makes no sense. How did you get fired anyway? Well, it all started when Ms. Clementine told me about me vandalizing the little Einstein's special locker that they got for their birthday. Which I never did. Ms. Clementine thinks I did it and now I'm fired. What? The little Einsteins? You mean? These four kids that are in my class? Um, yes. They would never do that. You know that the little Einsteins are good people now. And I remember that they almost got me fired too. But now they grow up and live with a better family. I'm going to have a talk with Miss Clementine. Why good morning Mr. Leander. What brings you here this time? Miss Clementine. I believe there is a misunderstanding on Mr. Joe vandalizing the little Einstein special locker. He would never do that. No. This is the truth. Mr. Joe really vandalized the little Einstein's locker. You know what? This is ridiculous. Tiff, where are you going? I'm going to talk to Miss Clementine about this misunderstanding mistake. Tiff, what are you doing in here? Are you supposed to be in class? Well, Miss Clementine fired Mr. Joe for nothing. I know for a fact that Mr. Joe never did that. He was at home the whole time. Now you two are going to believe in Mr. Leander? This the proof that I got on camera last night. The footage didn't lie. No. This is a mistake. No. Both of you stop lying. Lying only makes it worse. Now both of you please leave or I'll fire you Mr. Leander for real. And Tiff I will be calling your parents. Whatever. Well if, how did it go? The principal didn't believe in me or Mr. Leander. There's got to be something that we can show her that Mr. Joe didn't destroy our friend's locker. Hi Leo, June, Annie, and Quincy. Let me guess. Your angry is because your locker got vandalized. Yes, but how did you know? We saw your locker this morning. We're really sorry to hear that. But in the meantime, do you guys want to share lockers with each of us? Wow, that's actually quite a nice thing. Sure, Princess Presto, why don't I share a locker with you? Absolutely. I'll be willing to share a locker with you until your locker is fixed. Hey Alpha Pig, want to share lockers with me? Of course, Quincy, I will. Wonder Red, you too? Of course. And Super Y, it looks like it's you and me, buddy. Yep, we're sharing. Wow, just wow. I think since now, you guys have just become nice. In fact, you guys want to be friends? Yes. Yeah! Indeed, and yes. We'll be friends forevermore. Want to have a sleepwalker Friday night? Oh my god, yes. I can't wait till our parents to hear about this. We are so having our sleepover. Well, see you guys on Friday night at your house. Bye guys. See you on Friday. I can't believe this. I can't wait till mom and dad hear about this. What do you say we go home? Yes Wonder Red. Let's go. Oh hi Super Y. Alpha Pig. Wonder Red. And Princess Presto. How was school today? School was great mom and dad. We did not get into any trouble this time. That's great to hear. What with the big smiles though. I never see you guys like this. Guess what? We are friends with now. Oh no. 
Don't tell me you're friends with another troublemaker. Actually, no. It's Leo, June, Quincy, and Annie from the Little Einsteins. No way. How did you go from worst enemies to good friends? Well, ever since their special locker that they got for their birthday was vandalized by another troublemaker that we didn't know. We offered to share lockers with since we just lost our anger. They're our friends now. Oh my god. For real? Super Y. Alpha Pig. Wonder Red. And Princess Presto. I actually can't believe it. After all the bad things you have done this year. You actually did something nice for once. You don't even know how ungrounded you are right now. We also offered to have a sleepover with them on Friday night. Can we? Oh completely absolutely yes. You guys can. You guys stay here. I'll be coming back in 15 minutes with an enormous surprise. I made a load of adjustments to the rules. Want to take a look? Well, pass the clipboard. Guys take a look at this. Oh man, we are going to have the best times ever. All right guys, are you ready for our sleepover? We ready as we'll ever be. Is this at your house or a house? It's at our house. When we get home, let's go into our wife flyers. We have four each. Why way to decide? I'll ride with Super Y. Annie will ride with Wanda Red. Quincy will ride with Alpha Pig. And June will ride with Princess Presto. Great idea Leo. Why don't you drive? Yes. Let's get ready to explore. I'll drive the other wife flyer. Alright then. Let's go see how our parents. Alright. Are we ready? Yeah we are. Let's go. Wow. This is so awesome. I can't believe I'm flying a wife flyer. I know. This is the best. Hey. It's time for some fun. Leo wait. You are flying upside down. That was the most fun day ever. Wouldn't you guys say so? What can be better than having you guys as friends now? So we're in our pajamas and it's 9 p.m. Are you guys ready for bed? You know. We used to go to bed at 6.30. But now that we're ungrounded, we can go to bed when we want. Let's go to bed at 11 p.m. Oh yeah. We'll be willing to go to bed when you want. What do you guys want to do now? Let's go downstairs and watch some Toy Story 4. Great idea Wonder Red. Let's go watch it. Alright. Let's go downstairs and watch Toy Story 4. Wow. Mr. Joe. I still can't believe you got fired. Wait a minute. Have you been sleeping here all day long? Wait a minute. Was he sleeping here for the whole weekend? How is he not dead? Mr. Joe? Are you dead? Wake up. Ouch. What the heck Mr. Joe? When did you got so strong? And since when you were made out of steel? Kirby, Tiff, and Tough. What are you three doing? Um, we were looking at Mr. Joe. But he's not waking up. Really? Let me see. Mr. Joe? Are you awake? Hey, wait a minute. This a machine record everything. Really? Let me see what it says. It says, Last control by the super readers. Oh my freaking god. The super readers were behind of all of this. They made a clone of Mr. Joe to get him fired. Oh my god. These darn super readers did this. They are going to pay for this. Come on everyone. Let's get and report it to Ms. Clementine. Um, Kirby, what should we do with this machine? I don't know. Let's just carry it to Miss Clementine's office. Okay. On the count of three. One. Two. Three. Oh my freaking god. This thing is so damn heavy. Oh my god. I don't think I can carry him anymore. Oh god. Why good morning Ms. Robin. Mr. Leander. And Tiff. Where's Tuff and Kirby? Yeah. 
software on Earth is tough and Kirby. Oh my god. I can't carry this damn robot anymore. Um, can someone tell me what just happened there? Just ignore that part. Anyways, I have just found the evidence to prove was not actual Mr. Joe who destroyed the little Einstein special locker. Oh no, we're not going through this again. I don't think you get what we're saying. You want proof? Well, look at the pictures at Mr. Leander's phone. All right, let's see. But if it's false, you and Mr. Leander are fired. And Kirby, Tiff and Tough. I will be calling your parents and you three will be suspended. Oh my god, you guys were right the whole time. It was not Mr. Joe who destroyed the little Einstein's special locker. Yeah, me and Kirby were carrying it to your office. And also the super readers made a clone of Mr. Joe too. I'm deeply sorry about this Ms. Robin, Mr. Leander, Kirby, Tiff, and Tuff. It looks like you guys were right. I will hire Mr. Joe back for sure. Awesome. And one more thing. You'll punish the super readers, right? Most definitely. I will deal with the super readers right now. Attention. The following people are to report to my office. Super Y. Alpha Pig. Wonder Red. And Princess Presto. Thank you. Hi, Ms. Clementine. Me, Super Y. Now listen. Were you guys the one who made a clone out of Mr. Joe and got him destroy the little Einstein's special locker so he can get fired? Tell me the truth right now. Alright. As a matter of fact, yes. We were the ones who got Mr. Joe fired. We were tried up in teaching us boring stuff that is hard to understand. So we got our revenge by getting him fired. We're really sorry. Super Y. Wonder Red. Princess Presto. And Alpha Pig. How dare you do this? You realize you have caused a load of mayhem and almost got Ms. Robin and Mr. Leander and Kirby Tiff and Tuff in some serious trouble. You do not know how much trouble you're in right now. That's it. You are expelled. Go home right now. They. Did. What. Oh. My. God. Don't worry Ms. Clementine. The Super Readers will be punished and they asses are going to smile away Camp Super Ultra Mega Time. Thanks for telling me. I will deal these little brats. Goodbye. Well well well. The truth has been spoke. You guys were happy because you got Mr. Joe fired? Weren't you? As a matter of fact, yes. We were happy we got a job well done. So that was how we became friends with the little Einsteins. In fact, we were the ones who got their locker destroyed. Please don't severely punish us. Absolutely not. We can't believe you got Mr. Joe fired. You do not know how much trouble you retards are in right now. That's so fucking it. I'm reverting the rules and I am taking away everything in your room. All right. Everything including your Y flyers have been given away and donated to charity. You are so grounded 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 until the sun becomes the red giant and makes life on earth impossible. It's time to go to your room. That's right. Your room had absolutely nothing again. You guys will be wearing nappies forever. So let's put them on right now. All right. Your nappies are now on. So now you will go pees and poops in your nappies instead of the toilet. Oh hi Super Javier Logan. Twilight Sparkle. And the little Einsteins. Oh. You want the Super Readers. Oh. Okay. Super Readers. It's for you. Stupid Readers. I should have known it was you guys the whole time you vandalized our special locker. You guys are so not our friends anymore. Look what telling a major lie leads to. You guys are the worst friends we have ever had. We hope you get punished big time. And Mr. Gonsin, if you're hearing us, you and your wife will be paying for our new special locker. We expect it to happen by next Friday. 
I can't not believe you guys right now. I now have to pay for the little Einstein's new special locker. As for your punishment, you will never leave this room under any circumstances. Have fun being grounded. Stupid readers. Shut the hell up and go to sleep on the damn floor now. Ha, 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 ha.